Hello, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to install PHP Storm for the first time and uh, set up your very first project. Uh, so I've already downloaded the file, I click on the exe file and then uh, run the executable file I get to this screen, click next. I already have a few uh, version installed so I'm going to install this version as well. Uh, this is 2016.2.2 uh, uh, so just go ahead and uh, just go ahead and create a launcher, 32-bit launcher box as well. And uh, I can select the file that I want this to open. For now, I just unselect uh, all of them. I just go to installation. So while this is installing, we have to remember with PHP Storm, we can simply create an application and uh, start running a PHP, start debugging, coding, and so on. So we are getting to the end of the installation. Uh, that okay now. Just go ahead and run this. Uh, depends if you want to get the setting from, since I have the installation. Let's go ahead and get the same one. I have installed, I had installed this before, so that's why it's trying to get those configuration if there is any. Uh, terms and condition. Uh, so you read through if you want to. I just click on accept. Now there are a few options here. I can uh, do username and password, uh, the account that I have on JetBrains, you can create one. If you're a student, you can get a free license. So you create an account and then the when you log in with your account, then simply you will add the uh, uh, license to this uh, version on your machine. So we won't, uh, it will last for a year for a student account. Uh, for now, I just uh, select the evaluation for free. But as I said, if you have a username and password, you just put it in there. So evaluation for free, I just go to the evaluation. I accept this. And uh, definitely while I'm waiting for this to open. Okay. Uh, I just go ahead and uh, very simply I'll go and create a new project. Uh, there are many things we can do with this, but for now I just simply go ahead and create an uh, empty project. So you give a name to this one. Um, week or uh, sample uh, sample project or whatever you want to call your project. One other thing you have to select the interpreter. Since I have installed ZAMP on this machine, uh, I have to go ahead and select where the ZAMP is installed uh, and find the php.exe. My PHP is at ZAMP app php.exe. That's a file I have to look for. If I didn't have this, this is how it's going to look like. Uh, let me just go back here. So I click here, I just go ahead and uh, let me remove this. Okay. So I'll go and add uh, other local PHP. Then I will search for where PHP is installed. In my case, as I said, since I have ZAMP, I just go ahead, click on ZAMP and C drive PHP. And then I'll look for php.exe. Uh, let me see if I can find it. We are right here. I'm good to go. Apply. Okay. So I have created this, that's it. Uh, since I have opened a project already, so it's asking me if it has to open this project or a new project. You won't get this one if you, this is your first time. Uh, so now right click on this, it allows me to create a PHP file or any other file that I might need. So I'll create a file, I'll call it f1.php. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I just use PHP info function. Uh, to see if it works. One way to run this is to click on the um, uh, browser icon on here. So I'm asking to open it with Chrome. So simply it opens this, so I can get the PHP I I. Or if I want to, I can simply go ahead and open it on localhost since I'm running it inside the HTTOX. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you for watching and have a good day.